All right, so now we're going to do jump squats here on the GTS. Both feet on the platform, low wire and shoulder width. We're going to lower our body into a squat. Point up as high as you can. Make sure both feet land right here on the platform. You can go wherever you want, under your butt, behind your back, on the sides, on your head. Whatever is most comfortable. But the biggest thing is make sure your feet land on the platform to ensure safety so you don't fall down and hurt yourself. All right, on this one, we're gonna do the standing two-point leg swing. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna squat down on this left leg, right foot goes out, come back up, squat again, right foot goes up. So you wanna alternate here. So if you lower your body, your right leg should be going up and out, back and forth, going both ways. And you just wanna sit nice and straight, keep the core tight. The entire time. Woo! Nice burn. Love this one. All right, so now we're going to do dips here on the Total Gym GTS. We're going to come out as far as you can, ideally keeping the legs as straight as possible, lowering yourself down for a dip, right back up, going down, then those elbows popping up. If that's too hard for you, you come flatter on the feet, modify it like so, just so the legs do some of the work for you, back and forth. But if you're looking for the extra challenge, Go ahead and extend those legs out. Dipping down low, popping up, back and forth. All right, so now we're gonna do an incline push-up here on the Tolo Gym, which is one of the most beautiful things about the Tolo Gym is that you get the total body experience. You can do so many different things on it. And that's why I love this piece of equipment so much. But anyway, back to the incline push-up. So what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna be on our toes, chest right over the foot platform. We're gonna lower ourselves into a push-up, push right back up, Lower yourself down, right back up. If you want to change the degree of difficulty on this one, you can always take your toes back a little bit, kind of lean forward on it. If it's too hard for you, you come flatter on the feet and going down and up like so as well. But for this one, great, great piece of equipment here. The foot platform is fantastic for building those pecs up, triceps, shoulders, all those good muscles for snowboarding. Pull it up and down, and there we go. So now we're going to do a standing squat and a side stretch. Left foot here on the ground, right foot on the glide board. What we're going to do here, let this foot go down to a squat. As I go down to a squat, this right leg goes up far as you can, get that good stretch here. Come back up, bring the leg down slowly. Don't let it slam down. So go up again, lower the left leg down, come back up, right back up. There we go. Do the body squat down, leg going up, getting that inside stretch, and then out, and there. All right, so we're gonna do the walk-in plank here in the Tobo Gym now. For this one, you're gonna get down in a push-up position with your hands on the ground, your feet on the very end of the slide board here. Get up, and we're gonna walk the hands back as high as you can, walk it back down, bring it back to the starting position. All the way up as high as you can, and then come down as low as you can so you can go down the further, right back up. Alright, so now we have our pipe. I'm grabbing onto the foot platform of the GTS right now. Slide the toes in slowly, go back in and out, nice and controlled. Put it all the lower abs, put a little bit of triceps, get the shoulders. To change the degree of difficulty in this one, I could raise or lower the incline and make it harder or easier, depending on my fitness level. So I want to drive the toes in and out, keep the arms straight, back and forth, like so.